Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'll teach you how to make dashboards in Excel in five minutes without any softwares or plugins. No hassle, just clean dashboards like this and many more. So see you can now go ahead and filter your data using these regions. See this all this data is changing. This is for North region, this is for West region, this is the best sales representative, this is your region-wise data, this is your top category of products, top products that were selling, This was this, these are the annual sales of this region, all this, and you have this multi-level filters also. This is for a specific salesman, this is for Hulk. See, everything changes over here just by clicking over here. Isn't it cool? And you know what? Where is this data coming from? This is coming from this ugly dump. Look at it. This is approximately 300 rows of data. And it got concised into these meaningful, beautiful looking reports. Now I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it. All right? How we created these beautiful looking charts with these filters. Now, once you have your raw data, you have to make a pivot table, all right? So what we have used is our pivot charts. Now, when you have your pivot table data over here, you have to ensure that there is not even a single row which is empty, not even a single column which is empty because otherwise the data would get corrupted. You may not get the best result. So nothing is empty over here, see. All these cells have some or the other data in them. Now you have to understand while building a dashboard that what you have to keep in mind is the hierarchy. It has to stop from the start from the top and then trickle down. Like you have to show some major aspects. Here we are showing the total sales of the year. Here we are showing region wise sales. Here we are showing the top salesmen. Here we are showing the top category of products. Here we are showing the actual products. So you are going macro and then coming down. So same here in your raw data, you have to plan that this is what I want to create. So just click in the data, go to insert and choose pivot table and insert them in a new sheet. All right. So let's call this sheet new total sales because this is what we'll be creating in this. We'll be creating the chart for the new total sales. So we will be taking the date, all right? And we'll be putting the revenue over here. And now we are going to sort this data. Oh, we don't need to sort it. Actually, it's, it should be sorted on months and it is already there. Now we click here, go to this analyze tab, go to pivot charts and create a pivot chart. All right, you can choose anyone like let's I've chose, chosen a line chart. Click OK and your chart is ready. Now let's do some basic formatting. Right click on these names and choose hide all field buttons. Then remove this also. Click on the chart again. Go to format and from here define a size for your chart. Like it should be six inches high and say 15 inches long. We are there. Remove this these lines also. Click on them and press delete. Take this away and give it a name. Total sales by year. All right. You have this. Now do a right click, open, create a new sheet, which will be called your new dashboard. I go here, give it a name so that it's easy. New dashboard. And I go back to my this chart, right click it, copy, go to this new dashboard, click here, right click and paste. Your chart is ready now. First chart, first dashboard is already here. All right. 
Now I'm going to select the complete sheet, go to home and give it a white color. Or if I want, I can give it a gray color like in the earlier one I have done. So this is one step. Coming to step number two, go to your raw data again. All right. Let's make a sales rep wise data. Let's create now another chart. Another pivot chart for, from a new pivot table. So you select the data, go to insert, go to pivot table, click OK, and let's say bring the salesperson into rows and the revenue brought by him in values. Right click over here, go to analyze, go to pivot charts. Select a chart that you believe would represent this this best. Since I've used a bar chart, I'm going to use the same one over here. All right. I'm going to remove these. Hide all field buttons on chart. I'm going to remove this legend. All right. I'm going to design. I'm choosing a layout, this one. So the numbers are visible over here. All right. I click on these numbers. I remove this also. I give it a name. Sales rep price data. All right. Simple, isn't it? This way, you create your complete dashboard. So now I copy this also again. Copy. Go to my new dashboard. Paste it over here. All right. Give it a size. Now, let me just align them. So I control click both of these. And then I go to format. From here, I can give them a standard size. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to align them on the exactly together. So I've used align left. All right. Now coming to these colors. Like colors over here click in the line over here and go to design all right rather go to format from here choose shape fill and go to you can choose colors from here or you go to go to more fill colors and you can choose colors of your own choice if there are more color choices available and you choose these new looking light colors all right, now let me show you a few tricks which will help you. Over here, now when, when in the chart, I go to this plus symbol and I go to data labels. All right. And I put them above. I go to more options. I go to numbers. I tell them that if this is currency format, All right, and from here I choose US currency. All right, and I make decimal places to be zero. And most important stuff. Now, this is still looking too ungainly, too big. So, I'm going to change the format. Come over here, and after this comma, I'm going to place a key. See what will happen over here. Okay, this is 73,341 and it will change to 73k. See, cool, nice trick. Same we can do for hair also. So, this is how I went ahead and created this complete dashboard. All right, so to save time, I'm now going to work on this. I did exactly over here. Now, I'm going to my new dashboard and now I'm going to click over here, all right, and I'm going to analyze, and I'm going to insert slicer. And on what basis do I need the slicer? Say I want them based on the region, click OK, and I have my slicer already here. Slicer is nothing but a tool given, a visual tool given by Microsoft Excel for pivot tables, which allows you to filter your data based on these visual cues, all right? And I'm going to click here again. I'm going to analyze and I'm going to add another slicer. You can add as many slices as you want. I want data by 
sales rep all right so i get my data by sales rep also over here now i need to connect all these charts to these two slices how am i i'm going to do that i do a right click i go to report connections and i select all the pivot tables which i which i just made all right so you would be selecting only pivot table for new sales data not the other ones and new uh, sales rep wise data and now this is connected you connect this one also right click report connections and connect it to the other charts that you created and now this is totally linked if i do a selection over here the data over here also changes if i do a selection over here the data over here also changes see the data for this person only so this is how it works it's a beautiful way to create awesome looking dashboards you can actually go to my elesson.org and download this file for free on my site and use it as a template to create your own pivot charts and dashboards this is totally free extremely easy to do guys just spend five minutes and you can create beautiful looking dashboards interactive dashboards like this so hope you like this video see you in the next video so until then this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning